Lazy Susan. Well, I can understand why it's lazy because... I, I, I feel like it's, it's, it has a flow because the lazy Susan. Yeah. Zee Susan. Yeah. Lazy Susan. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Jen. Jen. And this here is Frank with his uh, vest on on a hot summer day. Yep. It's hot. It's hot outside. I'll tell you what. I'm it's a, a heat wave that never ends. A, it's, this is a heat wave that never <laughs> yeah. ends. I know. And like every time it calls for rain, it rains for like, usually it makes it it's worse. like a heat wave for four days and yeah. then the rain comes pouring in. I know. And it's better, but right? It's not making it better. No. Um, I'm a big sweater. <laughs> I'm thinking of a big sweater, like a Christmas sweater. I'm a big sweater. You sweat a lot. That's good. That's it. That's, that's your fun. body's natural cooling system. I know. It's one of those things where, um, it's weird, right? Like it's so you, every, everyone who sweats a lot, I'm sweating through my shirt. It's like you get all embarrassed, but it's like the most, it's not, it's not like even, right. I smell nice. Yeah. I smell very, I've been always complimented on my scent. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just it's sweating. No, that's good. I've just started starting to embrace it. I'm yeah. like, I'm a big sweater. And you know what? It's all normal things that sweat. You know, some people they have like sweaty hands or sweaty feet. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's not me. No. You'll just like see it on my shirt. <laughs> sweaty chest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, I hear it's healthy. I hear. Yeah. I hear it's healthy. I guess. I mean, uh, if you stay hydrated, otherwise well, yeah. you would deplete no, yourself. No, I, I don't mean it's healthy to sweat. I don't know if that's the case, but being a sweater yeah a knitted sweater is a healthy sign i think it means that yeah. your body's functioning yeah. correctly mm-hmm. athletes sweat and i'm an athlete there's a there's a tiktok audio and he's like is that real sweat and he's like i think he's australian and he's like yes real sweat um that that's what athletes do bibbidi bop boop bop beep said real sweat it's real sweat i'm a high performance athlete um, athletes sweat Sweat, baby. Sweat, sweat. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know if I can find it. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's a beautiful day. Um, you know, like we've said this before and we'll say it again. No matter how hot we are and we're, um, I'm sweating. Oh, I can't even be outside. Yeah. It's so hot. We will take it any day of the week. I know. I did over think Over the that. cold. Uh, <sighs> not a drop of sweat is out of my body in the cold. You think that makes it better? No. No, I'll, I will drench this shirt before I... Have to bundle up for one day. How about that? Well, you won't. You'll just you'll just be cold in the months to come. Yeah. Um. How's everything with you? Fine. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yep. Um. I'm getting a new gym membership. You are. I am. I've decided. You left your old gym. Yeah. Well, accidentally left it. <laughs> I um switched cards. Oh. And um, they have. Oh, payment card. A, yeah. And so I didn't realize that I wasn't paying for it. Oh. And then, like, I accrued a decent amount of late charges. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, well, you can come back. Just give us $300. Right. And I'm like, 300 Yeah, it's boring. No. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot. But I, there's this gym that's been on my, my, been on my eye. It's, it's a little upscale. Okay. So it's a pretty penny. Okay. But I don't know. It just feels like home. And sometimes you just got to treat yourself. Mm-hmm. If you can, why not? Yeah. Why not? Life's too short. Life's too short to, to never... Never go to a nice gym. And anything that's going to help your health, I mean, makes life longer. So yeah, yeah, I would definitely um, endorse that. Yeah, I I, I agree. Um, I definitely think that. I think a lot of times we push things off because we're like, oh, well, that doesn't. I I shouldn't do that. But then it's yeah. like it's for you, right? It, like you have to think about the mental aspect of it, and it's like, how much is the money really worth if you're always constantly in that kind of poor man's mindset right um where it's like oh yeah, I, I shouldn't make spend choices that. and and like i mean i'm maybe being a little privileged but because you know not everyone some people do have kids and yeah mortgages so i'm not saying you know, take a second mortgage out but there is this certain aspect of we often think about other things before we think about ourselves and okay. that value comes back around i think mm-hmm. you know you spend a hundred dollars on yourself a month and you're investing in yourself. Mm. What I'm doing is I'm trying to tell. I'm trying I know. to. Sti- it's like, I, was, I thought it was already decided. I'm still trying to convince myself. I'm, I'm going to watch this over, and, and it's like talking into the mirror. 
Yeah, Spencer, you're right. Do I it. Gonna do People it. should comment for him to do it. Yeah. Um, I forgot I did do something oh, since, yeah. since we last saw each other. I went to an Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. Um, practice. Practice. Game. Nice. Public practice. Oh, public tryouts? Were no. You public people watching a private practice? Nah. <laughs> private practice. Private practice. Um, I thought it was literally going to be, like, isn't spring training that they don't even care about the audience? Like, you, you're just kind of like watching them. Um, yeah ba- play practice baseball yeah i thought that would this is going to be but it wasn't it was like an event uh okay it was an event um and there was uh like a host or an announcer man who gotcha. was talking the whole time they did little scrimmages and he would like explain what was happening oh, that's fun yeah it was fun it's interactive yeah yeah um so it wasn't a, a practice where like oh this is how they practice like yeah. they were they were stretching and they were Throwing and... And you got into the uh, Philadelphia Inquirer. I did get into the yeah. Philadelphia Inquirer. A woman came around um, interviewing people in the stands. She interviewed me. I couldn't hear because, like I said, the... Um, the roar of the crowd. Not the crowd, but like... Yeah, actually the crowd too. The announcer was so loud. The the music... We were right by like a, a monitor. So like... Yeah. The speakers for the music was so loud. And then also the players kept throwing stuff into the crowd like balls oh, and nice. stuff yeah. and so the crowd would actually you're right they would scream and um i don't know if every team does it our team did it well i, I just saw a video of um buffalo the buffalo bills mm-hmm. and one of the players he like put a hat and glasses on and he's going around asking for autographs and, are like, you serious messing with the because oh like, with his own players yeah oh. and then he'd like be weird and they're like oh, i love you so much and he like slap their butt and they turn around they're like oh that's Wait. funny uh, the case keenum they're that's like, funny case gotcha. yeah so they're getting ready and i think yeah friday is a um preseason game yes ma'am and um yeah i'm not a, you know i'm not a huge sports fan but well i mean that's why i i, I like sports enough mm-hmm. um football especially but there's things like baseball where i'm not into it yeah. like on tv yeah but i love going because the whole experience yeah um it's totally yeah it's one thing to you know like Oh, did you see the stat line for the last game? But it's another thing just to be down there. And yeah, be with it, was, people. it was. We first we weren't, we were there kind of early, and so it was kind of not so many people. Yeah. And I thought it would stay that way because <clears throat> it was a heat wave. Yeah. Very very hot there, and um, the sun was still out, and um, it filled up like it really 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 filled up. But like everybody was in their regalia, and everyone was super excited, and everyone was chanting the Eagles. Uh, E-A-G-L. <laughs> yes. But it's funny because like it would go like different parts of the stadium would do it, right? And so like they would hear this, they would start doing E-A-G-L-E. They're about to say S and be finished. The people here are just hearing it. So when they say the second E, these people go E-A-G-L. It's, it's, it's like you guys were doing the wave but yeah, but with <laughs> chanting. Unintentionally. It was going around. Yeah. <laughs> Saying eagles over yeah. and over. <laughs> yeah, like the row, row your boat, you know. Um, yeah. People pick up. Yeah, um, so. But people were super excited. Cool, man. Go Eagles. Mm-hmm. This, this is our year. Is it? It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, after we won in 27, I think. I know. I think when you win, you get like 10-year grace period. Yeah. Because yeah, I would say that. Like after even like. Well, no. Let me rephrase. Okay. You get. An expectation for the next year, and then after you don't, you know, right? You have a there's there's the we want right. the repeat. If you don't get the repeat, it's ah oh, we won in twenty seven. Yeah, who cares what happens? Yeah. Now we just need the uh, the Sixers to to win. Yeah, up in the um sta- up in the ceiling of the stadium, they have these banners like award, you know, like yeah. things, and it's like they're like narrowish, and yeah. then it goes up to when we won the Super Bowl. That banner is very big. <laughs> And then the, the next year, I think, was like a more regional championship. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so the banner was short again. But just having it there, you were like, okay. We did it, boys. Okay. So, and we the quarterback, Jalen Hurts, extremely um, spiritual man. Very, very. It wasn't as spiritual as Carson. I love Carson. I was just looking at his um charity. His, AO1? Yeah. The AO1, AO1 Foundation? Yeah. The, uh, I love the name of the... um. Like the food truck that feed that, I guess I don't know. I guess it feeds whomever, but the money's raised for him. Yeah, for him I think it does both. Yeah. I think it gives out food, but, but it's it. called um. Okay, why would I say it if I can't remember it? What What do you like about it? Maybe we can like, re- do reverse engineering. No, on this. it was like a funny play on words, like "thy crumb be done" or something. <laughs> it was something like that. Now I can't remember it. I'll look but it up. yeah, he um, 
he 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 did a lot of the charity in Philadelphia, but then when he got moved to wherever he went, Indianapolis, Indianapolis he st- he kept. Well, no, now he's down in DC. DC. Yeah, he kept the um, charity in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that's the right move. Yeah. Kind of like, all right, sorry. I know. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I think you got to mm-hmm. open another one at that point. I think he had. A, he, I think he has two locations at this point, but Philadelphia is, is main hub. Hubbub. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> hubba. Sweet. Yeah. Um, anything else? National Lazy Day. Lazy? Lazy Day Day. Lazy Susan? Lazy Susan. Oh, I could have been Susan and this I could have been Lazy Susan. I mean, I know it's like a year. What? Oh, name. Really? that's a chair? No, Lazy Su- You're thinking of an easy chair. I thought a Lazy Susan is like what you said on. No. Lazy Susan is, um, a, uh, a, 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 it looks like a dish, but it's on a, it's a turntable and you put uh, your food I'm, on it. Uh, I'm thinking of a Lazy Boy. Lazy boy, that's it. Yeah. The the lazy Susan is so that y- if you turn, like, say I have the mustard here. If we t- if you turn the lazy Susan now, you have the mustard there. Mm. You know, but, yeah. but you also have it in um your cabinet. Yeah, it's like I need a cup. And you turn the because it's, it's like you uh, you don't want to pass things, you don't want to get up and be a lazy Susan. Yeah, I don't know why it's called Susan. Lazy part makes sense. Lazy Susan. Well, I can understand why it's lazy because I, I, I feel like it's, it's it has a flow because the lazy Susan. Yeah. Zuzin. Yeah. Lazy Susan. Okay. <laughs> I I meant I can see why today is lazy because it's the lazy days of summer. Yeah, I know. Um, I think they should, if uh, if I was them, um, whoever they are, I know it's like the Illuminati who comes up with these mm-hmm. these holidays. But I would do. Sort of like a Thanksgiving style, not like the holiday, but a lot of the holidays will either be on a date or the last Thursday. Right. I would do it like, yeah, the second Sunday in August. So Because okay. like people are all at work today. How lazy can you be? True. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But you were at a football game on Sunday, so. Or was that Friday? I was at a football game. I don't know when I was there. Oh, who cares? <laughs> all right. So let's just get into it. Sunday. Uh, yeah, I was there okay. on Sunday. So I guess I could which, be lazy. Which, which, you know what? I was saying about um, Jalen Hurts. Um, he's very, very Christian. And um, every interview he has, he, uh, you know, quarterbacks are, I believe they're usually pretty um, self-important, aren't they? Don't you yeah. have to be? Yeah. Just yeah. like um, the track and field, the sprinters, yeah. so you know. You walk into a team and then it has to be become your team. And if you right. don't, then you're destined to fail. Yeah. So... But every time he's interviewed, he never takes credit. He always says, God, 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 Glory God, be God, to God, which brought uh, me to think about. Um, we always get the Christian quarterbacks, don't we? Yeah. Never which that. brought me to think about football, very holy, religious uh, football players. How do you go to church anymore? Because because football is always on a Sunday. Yeah, well, I don't think you do. But I mean, <gasps> like, I bet they do. Maybe. Well, no, but they, they like, I know at least when Carson was there, because yeah. it was like a pretty religious team at that point. Like, right. Um, there was like a group of them. They would have like a prayer before the games and okay. stuff. So like whoever was interested, and I think it did grow to like a lot of the team, but yeah, like Carson Wentz like would lead a prayer and oh, all that. Okay, so. so that's fine. They do it amongst themselves. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. A lot, a lot of football players are, are spiritual. A lot do you of think? Athletes say they are, but I wonder if it's part of the costume. Ouch. <laughs> Don't yeah. you feel that a lot of them say they are? A lot of them have the tattoos and they wear the cross and they, you know, God. And then it's like so there can be some so, behaviors. There can be so many reasons. Okay. Um. One, yeah, it could just be. Oh, you, like, you, like, it could be a, a show of humility, like a show of oh, God first. Yeah, it's like part of your. It could be. I mean, a lot appearance. of a lot of football come like the best football come growing up comes from very Christian places. True. You, you get the Southern teams like um, these sort like these sort of already like Bible Belt. Yeah, Bible yeah. Belt places. Right. Um, is where football mm-hmm. is played at its highest before. Um, and then lastly, um. What was my last thing? This is maybe a, a little bit, um, what's the word when you think someone's negative? Pessimistic. Yeah. But because they're so great, it's easier to be like, thank you, God. I was wondering that. I was wondering what happens when you just start losing or you start hitting hitting the skids, you know? like. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. I mean, uh, it, there is an aspect of 
the when you are at the top and you have no one to lean like you have no one to look yeah. up to right like yeah i mean you do they still like look up to each other right. and, or great <clears> that came before them right. but when you're growing up it's like oh like you have mentors and people to help you when you're when you're the quarterback of an nfl team is it like ah, it's just me out here oh god help me out <laughs> i guess we should just believe that they are yeah, why, why are we being so pessimistic? I, don't know. I think but they speaking just love of, God. Speaking of being at the top and being a winner. Oh. You are. Whoa. A winner. Nice. <laughs> the world's smallest trophy. Um, You won the Genesis Bible poll. Well shot. <laughs> you won the Genesis Bible poll oh, stop. On, on Instagram. You let me win. Listen, you have to buy me one if I ever get to win. Which oh, I, man. No, just, no, just oh, lift that's it. that's part of it? Okay. We're going to have to reuse that box. Oh, sweet. This is cool. I don't know if it'll work the same as a Rubik's Cube, but. It's a it's a Rubik's Cube. Maybe I'll show the camera. <laughs> dollar I haven't shown the camera anything in a while. I know. Which means you haven't given me anything Oh, in my a while. God. You know, I haven't, actually. So. Oh, awesome. We did the Book of Genesis. Um, and We did. We did Instagram. a lot of books. A lot of a lot of verses. Verses. We did twenty six verses, um, and you won. Uh, it was close though. We 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 literally kept. Is it not even turning? Um, we kept going back and forth. It was the best of seven. Yeah, just like a sports and um, somebody could have ran ahead and got four, but they didn't. So we just kept going back and forth, back and forth. And um, you did end up winning. So um, the last, I can't say it's the most winningest Bible verse of Genesis because it's not. It's just the one that tipped you over the edge. Uh, the Like the last one to win. Yeah, the last one to win, um, which you submitted. And you actually, that was a landslide, that last um, vote. So on Instagram, Croak and Crow, we still do it. Next, we'll be doing Exodus. Yeah, we will. But um so the, the one that you submitted for the winner was Genesis 26, 24, which was very, very simple. And it said, it's all mixed up. She scrambled. Okay. <laughs> um, do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. It was pretty simple. Um, the In the in the Bible story of, um, of chapter uh, 26, that is God talking to Isaac. But of course, he's talking to all of us. Yeah. Um, forever and ever amen so everyone really connected to that um to that verse do not be afraid for i'm with you but i found it very interesting that because we had done so many genesis bible verses up to that point that it was i think you even said you, like oh this sounds like um something we've done before yeah and i believe that the reason you thought that is because a lot of the verses that we used throughout those 26 plus um times did sort of echo it yeah um for example 15 1 says do not be afraid i am your shield your very great reward mm. 26 24 is the one that won 43 23 it's all right don't be afraid god has given you treasure so that's the first part do not be afraid the second part is for i am with you and that was repeated a couple times um in what we had submitted. Yeah. 2122, God is with you in everything you do. Um, 2815, I am with you. I will care for you wherever you go. 353, I will build an altar to the God who helped me in the time of my trouble and who has been with me everywhere I have gone. And 4815, God has been my shepherd all my life to this very day. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven verses. Did you get it? Oh, no. I'm oh. Just, let me do it. We have, we have time. Okay. Um, that's seven ver different verses that keep repeating those two um, ideas in Genesis 26, 24. Do not be afraid for I'm with you. You'll find do not be afraid many times, even many more that we just didn't choose. Yeah. And you'll see for I am with you many times. Um, so it's interesting that that it won in a landslide. People really connected to it. People f really liked it, felt comforted by it. Um, and how nice that something that people like to hear is repeated 
yeah. so often yeah. in Genesis, yeah. the first book of the Bible. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, and I, I, I like it, and I, I kind of see where we're going with this. Of like, I was repeated, repeated. I like it both for now, and also especially both both for Gen- also for Genesis. Genesis was the original book, right? So right. this is very early on of at least you know our doc. Obviously, God's been around forever, but our like the the star of this communication between him and Abraham, right? And then the the prophets that followed, right? And so like it's like uh it's uh, I like it because it's like we can use it now for learning to become spiritual. It's right. like a constant reminder, but they were using it on a greater scale of even just trusting in the, in what they what we now call as God, right. this, this one God. Uh, the best way I can compare it would be like um, when you're teaching a kid how to ride a bike, mm-hmm. you know, like you're with them right there and, you know, they get nervous and they might fall. But if you just say, I'm right here, I, right. I got you, right. I'm right here, nothing's going to happen. Right. And you're kind of like coaching them, coaching them. Then they can ride the bike uh, uh, alone, right? And it's like, you know, you're still protected by God or whatever, but it's that initial. Right. So if someone who's coming into spirituality or needs that reminder, or in, in this case, it was right. early on and it was like, it was this, don't be afraid. I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. I'm with and it, it. It needed to be re- reiterated. There wasn't that that confidence that they had later on, you know? Or that we have now, you know, that David had. It, well, what, that, he, I don't think he said it that much as he did in the in Genesis to David, but it's because it was all the groundwork. He's already riding bike on right. his own. And he was saying, I know you're with me. Right. But this was that initial, I'm with you. Right. I'm right here. Don't be afraid. Right. You're getting afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Yeah. It was, it was, it was um, God knowing exactly w- w- what we're made of, where we're coming from, and, and acknowledging our fear. Yes. So it's like, you know, it's like, you don't understand me. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what it's like to be a human. It's acknowledging the fear. You know, I know you're afraid. Don't be. Yes. Why shouldn't I be? Because I'm with you. Yes. Now, a while ago, you talked about someone that had told you that um, they prefer the New Testament because yeah. they want to the hear. The gospel specifically. The gospel specifically because they want to hear what Jesus said. They want to hear the words that Jesus said. And that, that's fine. And, and, um reasonable but just to remind people that god is jesus yeah and god talks in the old testament and he especially talks in um in genesis so when you see um different verses that we picked um that where where someone is talking or 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 something is being promised rewarded instructed it is God speaking. So you have God speaking to Cain, God to Noah, God to Abraham, God to um, Jacob. This is God talking. Yeah. So the same way he's like, well, this well, Jesus said it. Well, God said it. And that's a, that's a very good point, you know, because people do often say that, and it almost feeds more into this what we say of like this different God, as if we believe right. in two gods. And right. It's like the the passage of you know Jesus was before it was the same before now and forever right and it's like jesus is god and so to to neglect the old testament to treat it as a different god is or to treat it as it was even like a different mindset of, right. of god is sort of diminishing the fact that they that, that is god like jesus was in human form who was there the whole time in right. the old testament who right was the, the so like any, even that, that even goes to like when people say oh he was a vengeful and angry god it's like that was, in a sense, Jesus, yeah. right? So it's like, you can't have one without the other. Like, I Jesus- think people need to, myself included, and I, you know, sometimes I feel bad saying people need to, but I think people need to remind themselves yeah. that, that it is one God. Yes. That, that, that the God from the Old Testament is the God in the New Testament. Um, and, and it's... And, and, and go back, I think. Like, I think that's important of the Bible reading is um, to not not be so like oh the old like almost like don't shy away from the bad stories of, of the old testament right go to them yeah know that that is an unconditional loving god that it was who jesus was right and then have it and then try to make it make sense to you right yes like, and you get a whole different perspective whether it be 
uh, meant to be symbolic or it's meant to be a, a lesson like for the like to have more love right instead of, of shying away I, I think as as faithful people we need to go to it head on like there's so right. many things in the bible and that's why i read it where i was like i'm going to read the verses that i disagree with and yeah. then or like so not even that i disagree with that sounds like my personal agenda that doesn't make sense to god's love and, and all right. that and then I need to think of it in a different perspective. Of like, okay, this is Jesus doing this. So what does this mean? Right. Is this is this a, a, a translation thing? Is this a so a symbolic story? Right. That's being used. Like, what is it to make the truth come out, which is yeah. God's love? Yes. Um. So if you want to find God speaking to in the what He had to say, what He thought was important, and then what He blessed to be kept for us all these years. So yeah. the, the reason we still have the Bible and what was written in the Bible is because it's been protected by God. So these things are important. Um, and so we, we read the things like, be not afraid for I'm with you. Um, but detractors might say, but he didn't say it to you. He said it. He said it to Isaac. He said it to Abraham. He said it to Noah. Um, can I direct you to Genesis 12, 3, which is one of the verses that um, we did have in the polls and um the verse was i will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you i will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you so um this is god speaking so we get a great um word of god he's speaking to abram who of course is abraham but god's changing the names of of the people back and forth all the time for yeah. different reasons but so i just find that this is a great example of I'm not just speaking to Abram. I'm speaking. So God says um, that I'm blessing you, right? All the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. Yes. So he is speaking to Abram, but he's not saying I am blessing you and your children. I'm blessing you, you know, for this generation. All the peoples on the earth. You did it. You need another award. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you. You proved it. You proved it. Remember, um, what was it? I had a prophetic dream and it was, you've been given everything. Now you have to earn it. Oh. Um, and so you were given everything and you still earned it. I earned it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have like made that like, like a locking thing and then it pops open. Oh, yeah. And then this comes out. Wow. We don't have that budget. So anyway, um, so... I just have this to say to, to to people who are unfamiliar that God is speaking in Genesis. He is speaking. Yeah. And for people who say, but he wasn't speaking to us. He was speaking to us. The people in the Old Testament are being utilized to get us the message. And um, Genesis 12, 3 says, all the peoples of the earth forever will be blessed through you. I know that I'm from the earth. Yeah. I know that the guys in prison are from the earth. I know that, you know... Um, whatever you can think of any kind of person who you might feel like they're bad people or they, they're yeah. not part they're not they're not jewish they're not muslim they're not saved um we're all people of the earth yeah and he promises in genesis that yes that's who he's talking to and yeah there's a remind and also remind yeah when people do say oh well, he was talking to him the point of all that the bible could have been written jesus i mean just all 10 or all the scrolls the, yeah the style of like this is for all the people the point of each person in the Bible, I mean, besides lineage and, and all that, it is so that you always have someone a reference and uh, to be blessed through, right? Right. For the, when you are afraid uh, about, oh, well, remember when, you know, Jacob was afraid and, and, and God told him, don't be afraid, do this. When you are suffering, you can look at Job. Right. When you are at the top and you can look at David, you know what right. I mean? Like it, it, it's... We we get all of these all of these people rather than being like don't do this do this it's right like, okay well I don't feel like a king right now I feel like right I feel like well then look at Job or it's right. like for the the football players that we were just talking about look at David right like right. look at okay glory to God but then look at the whole Bathsheba thing and mm -hmm. it's like even though you're at the top you need to be careful like, right because you you just because you have favor with God doesn't mean right. you can mess up so that's what's so great about the Bible is we have so there's and that's that's why people are drawn to it 
over the years and nobody's Bible verses, favorite Bible verse is the same. It's like, it's speaking to every aspect right. of life. Um, whether you're man, woman, child, right. sick, healthy, strong, weak, yeah. um, good, bad. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not meant, it, it's, it is meant for all of us, but it's told through these people right. and these stories. Right. Because as, as I've pulled out, you know, the, I said, I, I could pull out all the verses. Everything here is saying, um, be not afraid. Everything here is saying, I'm with you. Imagine a book that just kept repeating yeah. it. You would be, you would, you would be like, well, we don't need this. Yeah. You know, yeah. you just and, and, concise and, and, it down and then like, okay, what is this? But it's like every story is another illustration, you know? Yeah. It's like a um, different story to different people. So it's like, Joseph, okay, well, uh, the, Joseph yeah. and the coat of many colors, you know, how, how hard he had it in the beginning. You know, we always think of Job, but we forget Joseph, yeah. how hard he had it. And then, you know, he was. Re- yeah. And that, that's another thing. Cause it's like, oh, well, you know, like this person, you help them. And it's like, don't be afraid. And it's like, okay, well now this person's afraid. And it's like, well, what's the answer to that? It's, don't be afraid. I'm here. Right. Well then this person, don't be afraid. I'm here. It's like, it uh, once again, it's like across the board. Mm-hmm. It, so it's like, so then why not you as well? You're why also not? one of yes. those people. Are you a person of the earth? Show me the one person who was afraid that he didn't say that to. Right. It's not there was these prophets that God had favor in and we are just humans. It's Mm-mm. everyone who, who was walking with God and said, I'm afraid was told, don't be afraid to come with you. Yeah. So, even, even Genesis, you know, there were, there were parts in that we always make fun of. Oh, we're going over. There's part, there's parts in there we make fun of where we say, do we have to know the name of every single person and then their person and then their children yeah. and their children? Um, I, I have a newfound appreciation for it because it's like, he's so, he's a, uh, God is so um he's so specific on seeing every single person yeah. naming every single person. Yeah, it's it's you not know. it's not I favor in you and right. like, and your sons. It's I'll, I'll everyone spell it out. is it, important. It kind of goes to that I I have the hairs on your head numbered. Right. cuz I think a lot of times also we do fall into that of this like this fear of lack of individuality in God's eyes. Right. It's very easy to play the number Speaking of numbers, it's very easy. The book is very easy to play this numbers game <laughs> mm-hmm. and say, there's too many people. Right. And how many people have been alive and dead since Abraham? It's right. like, how do you know me? And then it's like, in even these smaller examples, it was, we're reading it. And it's like, this is getting boring. You know, who's not getting bored. God, because right. nothing to him. Like right. These numbers, he knows them all individually. Yeah. He has a relationship with them, with them all individually. Hey, and I'll have a relationship with all of you individually. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for our show. Um, pretty walk through Thursday for Wednesday, but I like it. Um, so go out and don't be afraid. God's with you. And um, be lazy. Uh, stay out of the heat. Uh, does that cover it? Yeah. Rubik's Cube done. No big deal. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>